Hello and thanks for making your purchase of your new Rampant Design Tools product. This quick tip is designed to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Let me show you why Rampant Design Tools QuickTime based elements are not only going to make your composites look fantastic, but they're also going to speed up your effects workflow. Transfer modes or blend modes as they're referred to in some applications are what we're going to use to get you going in the right direction. Okay, let's take a look at Avid's Media Composer. Okay, so let's Alt and Tab into Avid's Media Composer, and I'm gonna open up my clip spin here, and I'm just gonna take this boxing shot here. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard to make sure the entire clip is marked. I'm gonna hit B to edit it into a new timeline. What I'm gonna do now is press Control and Y on Windows, Command and Y on the Mac to create a new video layer, and we're gonna take an element. Let's take this film element here. This is Rampant Design Tools film element, and I'm simply gonna hit T on the keyboard to mark the entire clip, and I'm just gonna drop it into the top track here by hitting B on the keyboard, and I'm just going to remove the rest of the video track here. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to navigate to an effect that you actually got when you made your Media Composer purchase, and I'm referring to Avid Effects. What we're going to do is hit Control and 8 on Windows Command and 8 on the Mac to call up the effects palette, and I'm simply going to take the Avid Effects filter, and I'm going to drag it and drop it down here onto the element itself. We're going to step into effects mode right over here, and we're going to launch the user interface for Avid Effects. Now, the best part about this is you don't need to know one thing about Avid Effects except for this. You're going to see down here we have two video tracks the element or the video track that we've applied the effect to right there, and we also have the, as you see, the layer below it. All I'm going to do with video layer one is navigate over to composite, and we're going to change our apply mode from normal to multiply. And as soon as I do, and I simply say apply, and I render this out, you're going to see now that what we now have is this element keyed perfectly over top of our footage and ready to be dropped into any project that you happen to be working on. So as you can see, getting up and running with rampant design tools inside of Avid's Media Composer is very quick and very easy. Now what's important to keep in mind is that different elements are going to be set up in different ways, but everything is very similar. Let me give you another example. We have our rampant design tools dust effects element, cinematic dust effects. All I'm going to do again is I'm going to edit this onto the uppermost layer. I'm going to hit B on the keyboard to drop it in. Again, back to the Avid Effects filter. We're going to drag it and drop it onto the clip. We're going to step into effects mode and we're going to launch the user interface. The only difference this time is because we want to get rid of the black background, instead of using multiply, we're simply going to use add. There we go. All I'm going to do now is simply say apply. Again, I'm going to render this. You'll see how quickly these elements render. Because remember, they're not plugins. They're just elements that have had blend modes applied to them. And you'll see, like I said, literally in a matter of seconds, you can be up and running with these fantastic looking elements. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, head on over and post them in the Rampant Design Tools forums.